Now at this moment, let me differentiate between our normal current or normal current density J and this new type of current density that we have just encountered that is displacement current density. So let us differentiate between this normal current and displacement current. And for that my dear just recall the previous lectures or just recall your basics. What is current? When we say current that means we want to say rate of flow of free charges. Am I right? How do we define current? It is the rate of flow of free charge. That media or that substance it must have free charges, abundance of free charges and if those free charges move under the influence of electric field then that movement, that flow of charge it is considered as a current. So my dear, normally till this point when we say current or our usual current that you know that current is this type of current that is current arises because of the free charges the current arises because of the movement of free charges so this type of current is our usual current when you say only current that means this type of current that is arising because of free charges movement of free charges and my dear you also know that free charges or the free charge density it is abundance in the conductors or the conducting media yes or no conducting media or the conductors they possess very high free charge density they have abundance of free charges so technically normally when we say a current usual current that is current because of free charges and free charges they are found in conductors so normally our usual current is generally called as conduction current right again I am repeating till now whatever the current you said our usual current our normal current that current was basically the conduction current why conduction current did you get the logic why that current why our normal current when you just say current that current is actually the conduction current because current is because of rate of flow of free charges and free charges are generally found in conductors therefore normally our usual current is nothing but the conduction current and its density volume current density is nothing but the conduction current density so you know my dear till this point of subject we have represented the current density by letter j volume current density j but now we will call this current density as JC, conduction current density. Now because you know this usual current is nothing but the conduction current and the usual current density is nothing but the conduction current density. Isn't it? And if you remember the previous lectures properly, we have also derived the formula for this conduction current density or current density. That is J equal to sigma into E. Am I right? What is sigma? What is sigma? We have seen in the lectures of electrostatics. This sigma is nothing but the conductivity of the medium which depends on the free charge density and capital E it is the electric field present within that medium. So my dear from this expression also you can easily understand why our usual current or usual current density should be called as conduction current density. Check out this expression J equal to sigma into E. Current density depends on the sigma conductivity. Sigma is the conductivity. So obviously it must be called as conduction current density. Am I right? So whatever when you say a normal current our usual current is nothing but the conduction current most of the time we do not refer word conduction but now keep in mind that normal current our usual current is the conduction current 
एंड द यूजुअल करंट डेंसिटी जे इट इज नथिंग बट द कंडक्शन करंट डेंसिटी नाउ हियर वाइल मॉडिफाइंग एम्पियर्स लॉ मैक्सवेल इंट्रोड्यूस्ड कंप्लीटली डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ करंट डेंसिटी दैट ही कॉल्ड एज डिस्प्लेसमेंट करंट डेंसिटी एंड रिलेटेड करंट एज डिस्प्लेसमेंट करंट this displacement current density as we have seen it doesn't depend on the free charge concentration it doesn't depend on the conductivity of the material no this displacement current density is time derivative of d that means it depends on the changing electric field d am i right so this new type of current whose current density whose displacement current density is time derivative of d this type of current or this type of current density it doesn't depend on the free charge concentration or the conductivity of the material no so my dear this new type of current displacement current it can be present within the dielectric materials such as air did you get this point again i am repeating this new type of current displacement current it can be present within the dielectrics also see we have categorized substances into two categories dielectrics and conductors and as we have seen in the previous lectures conductors have lot of free charge density and current can be easily flown through the conductors but we have also seen that dielectric substances like air or gases they cannot they cannot support the current the current cannot be passed through the dielectrics but now we are saying like this this special type of current that is called as displacement current it can be present within the dielectric materials also because i have just explained this displacement current or displacement current density it doesn't require the free charges it doesn't require the conductivity no this displacement current depends on the changing electric field it displacement current density is time derivative of d that means this displacement current doesn't need free charges or doesn't need conductivity it just needs changing electric field changing d so this new type of current called as displacement current it can be present within the dielectrics and you know you can practically experience this displacement current consider the simple circuit as like this consider the simple capacitor parallel plate capacitor is connected to the ac voltage source by means of metallic wire we all know that using our basic network theory concepts ac current easily passes through the capacitor am i right we all know that current easily passes through the capacitor ac current so let's consider this simple circuit as this capacitor is connected to the voltage source ac voltage source by means of metallic wires metals metals are good conductors so obviously current can easily pass through these metallic wires current can easily pass through these metal wires but my dear look inside the capacitor what is there with, between the plates of the capacitor we know that there is a dielectric present between the plates of the capacitor there is a dielectric medium dielectric material like air it is present within the plates of the capacitor am i right and you also know that our normal current conduction current it cannot pass through dielectric normal current cannot pass through dielectric material no so we can say that there is a open circuit between the plates of the capacitor so you can also say that as there is a open circuit current through this circuit must be zero but my dear this doesn't happen does this happen no you all know that ac current easily passes through the capacitor so my dear there must be certain kind of current 
that is flowing through this dielectric within the plates of the capacitor there must be certain kind of current that is capable of flowing through this dielectric and that current is nothing but the displacement current 